experience, what do you find as to be merchandising best practices for really plant-based foods as a whole? Sure, and sure. From you know, an, uh, a, a chain that's located in uh, the Northeast, uh, 182 stores. Uh, we have got a, a, a demographic that is on the older side, so they, we don't have a lot of uh, people coming and going uh, throughout the uh, footprint where our stores are. So um, the way it works with us is, and I can't speak on all, uh, from all parts of the country, but what's working for us is um, we have developed uh, plant-based uh, sets throughout the store. Um, produce certainly has theirs. Um, this is an exciting time. Last year we introduced Beyond Meat and that was just the uh, beginning of what we are today and uh, we've expanded that set within the fresh meat case um, to include um, a number of other uh, suppliers as well. So we're, we've got it in produce, we've got it in meat, Center Store has theirs, uh, dairy, cheese sets, um, deli slices in the processed food sets will uh, be probably the next step. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I would recommend, um, we're having the best success with locating uh, the plant-based items in areas that get heavy foot traffic. Um, obviously the, the uh, alternatives for milk are in the milk set. There's an awful lot of foot traffic there. We've got our, our plant-based uh, grinds and patties in with our ground beef set, which is a very staple item, so it gets a lot of traffic there. And um, the produce item has an established set there as well, so mm -hmm. they're, there's, they've got a, a steady following already. So the other areas of the store are new and still growing, so a lot of, lot of opportunities for um, um, growth there. Mm -hmm. Are there any challenges you can think of? That yeah, the, the biggest challenge for from the, the meat case is um, making sure that we've got something that's sustainable. So right now we're all, we're all in this. A lot of retailers have jumped in and said, okay, there's a, there's a big focus on plant-based. Every, every supplier that comes in and wants to talk to us about it, we, we test their products and we say, okay, this, this looks good, tastes good, we'll, we'll give it a shot. 16, 18 weeks later, we start to get the data that comes through and our biggest concern right now is shrink. And do we stay with the, the items that are, um, creating some shrink or do we start to uh, turn those over and uh, look forward to uh, replacing them with something wow, uh, new and great. innovative. Yeah, yeah. So that, that would be the biggest shrink, our biggest uh, concern in the meat case right now would be the uh, shrink on items that are just not performing. Mm -hmm. yeah.